Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to mod Skyrim. Uh, this video will be aimed at uh, absolute beginners and novices who have never modded a game before and really have no idea where to start. So uh, there are two main uh, ways you can mod uh, Skyrim. The first is through the Steam Workshop which is built into Steam. Uh, it's probably one of the easier ways to do it. And the other way is the Skyrim Nexus, which is a website, and you download a separate program uh, that installs the mods, and uh, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, first off, I will look at Steam. So you need to download Steam, which you should have already if you've downloaded Skyrim, um, and play it. So once you open Steam, you'll be taken to the store page uh, automatically. Uh, you need to go to the Community tab up top, and may actually log in, if so do that. And uh, next you'll see workshop, so click on that and give it a minute to load and you will see Skyrim and these list of uh, games, so click Skyrim and this will take you to where all the mods for that game are kept and there are many mods on this, um, as you can see there's about 9,186 at this time so you can see all the top mods here, you can um, uh, sort them by most popular, top rated or most recent so uh, to Install a mod that you like. Uh, we'll do this first one, uh, Auto Unequip Ammo. Um, if you want to subscribe to this mod and install it, all you have to do is click subscribe. And when you click subscribe, uh, it'll automatically install it the next time you run the game launcher. Um, so it's that simple, and this will update automatically from Steam, so you have nothing else to worry about. And if you want to uh, unsubscribe and uninstall the mod, all you do is click unsubscribe here. Uh, it'll show here if you've subscribed to it. Um, if you want to see uh, all the mods you have installed from the Steam Workshop, you just go to this page and you go to uh, Subscribed Items. And when you click on this, it'll show you all the mods you have uh, subscribed to. As you can see here, I've only got four on this. Uh, I use the Nexus mainly. Uh, but if I want to unsubscribe any of these, I'll just click here on any of these. So, that is the Steam Workshop. Um, next one is the Skyrim Nexus. So the Skyrim Nexus is a website and it is skyrim.nexusmods.com so you go to that you register if you haven't registered already and the first thing you should do is go to this tab up here mod manager and click download and once you have downloaded that you should install the software and this is the software here this little tab here and uh, the Nexus mod manager so when you open that uh, it'll scan whatever games you have and it will list them here once that is done. So you can see these are all the games I have that the Skyrim Nexus or the Nexus platform supports modding for. So we're modding Skyrim so we'll click that and that will take you to the, all the mods you have installed from the Skyrim Nexus. And it will also show the mods that you have installed from uh, the Steam Workshop in this plugins tab. So usually the Nexus Mod Manager will check for updates. So just give that a minute to do that. And so here we go. This is all the plugins I have installed or mods. Um, if we go here, they see all the mods in uh, alphabetical order. So this is uh, a bit different from the Steam Workshop. Uh, once you, I'll talk you through and download and install the mod first. So once you're on this page, you can search for any mod you want and you can search, uh, you can look at the top lists and stuff like that or featured mods. Um, so once you find one you like, we'll just pick this one, the leather armor. Um, you should always read the description. Um, it usually tells you anything you need to do for installation um, and stuff like that. And you should also uh, check uh, any incompatible mods you can't use with this. Um, so yeah, once you've read that and you want to download it, you go to the Files tab and you click Download with Manager. And this will automatically open the Manager if it's not open already and it will add it here. So I will just download this now, Download with Manager. And that should add it here. So yes, this has added it to the downloads. And once this is downloaded, uh, you will see it on this list here. So for sake of time I will just uh, activate one of these mods I have here um, so we'll do lush grass which is currently not installed so uh, once this is downloaded it will appear here all you have to do is click on it and go up here and click the activate this mod and that is it you'll get this message if it was successful 
and you click OK and that's the mod installed. Uh, it's very simple. If you want to deactivate it, you just click on it the same and you click this tab here and that's it, deactivated. Um, now uh, the Skyrim Nexus mod manager doesn't update mods automatically. You have to download them again yourself and you can see here it tells you if there is an update by this little symbol here. Um, so let's see, this one is... Um, so here we've got Project Reality. I have got version 1.0B installed and the latest version is 1.1B. So if I wanted to update that, I would click the little symbol which will take me to the Project Reality page. And simply what I do is I go to Files, same as last time, and I just downloaded uh, the new version and install that. Um, you should un uninstall this version first just by clicking Deactivate and then install the new one and activate it. And delete this probably is the best thing to do. Um, you should check this every once in a while just for new mods and any updates for them. So uh, that's pretty much that covered installing the mods. Uh, the next important thing is the Skyrim script extender. And this uh, is basically a necessity for nearly all mods uh, you will install. It adds more features for the modders to incorporate into their mods such as key presses and stuff like that. Um, so you should download this, go to skse.silverlock.org and I'll put a link to that in the description as well as the other websites. Um, these will always be in a beta release and that's just the way it is, uh, they're always updating them so you just click this and download it uh, for the Skyrim script extender. Um, once it's installed what you need to do is find where you uh, download it to, so say it's in your downloads, so here's one here previous version. So when you open this up uh, it'll probably be a zip file so just extract it to somewhere and you'll get a folder like this. So what you want to do is copy these couple of fo uh, files here. Uh, don't worry about the SRC or the data folder so just copy these uh, and copy them and then go to your Steam folder and go to Steam Apps and go to Common and then find Skyrim. So here's Skyrim and you'll see here all you have to do then is click, uh, right click and paste and that will paste these files here. As you can see I already have them here, the Sky SKSE loader. So what then you want to do is find the SKSE loader and right click and send it to the desktop to create a shortcut. So once you've done that you'll have this here on the desktop and what you probably want to do is go to properties. Uh, and change icon and just select the Skyrim symbol it'll help it uh, a bit easier to find and what you want to do now is anytime you're going to run the game you'll click through SKSE and that will bypass the normal loader and if you want to change any settings in Skyrim just open this first and to the, change the options and close it and run the SKSE loader um, that's about that um, so yeah the next important thing is the load order of the mods. This is very important and is a common cause for any crashes or any mods not working properly. So if you go to plugins you'll see here this is the order that the mods will all be loaded in. Um, if you want to do this for Steam you just go and open your Skyrim main launcher and let it open and you go to data files and this is your list here of mods that they will be loaded in and this is the same just for the Nexus mod manager. So I would recommend using the Nexus Mob Manager, it's a bit easier and it's nicer to use. So always first thing on the list will be Skyrim.esm and that means it's a master file, ESM is masters. So that'll always be first, you can't change that. And the next is usually update and then the Dongar DLC. Um, ESMs are always at top, they're the master files. So you can't really move them, it won't let you. Um, so yeah, when you, when you install a mod, it'll usually tell you what needs to be above it. So it's this water mod, uh, it's masters are skyrim.esm and the update, so that should always be underneath these two. Um, some mods that require uh, compatibility mods, such as the cloaks one for the winter is coming. This needs, uh, where is it, there are the patch, it needs uh, the oneniv wic cloaks.esp above it. So that is there and that will not work if this was underneath it. Uh, it's just the way it is, it needs that file to work properly. Um, it'll usually tell you in the description of the mods uh, on the Nexus page whether or not the order it needs to be in. Uh, if there's a specific order, some will tell you. 
Uh, some mods work better if they're at the bottom of the list, such as UFO works better if it's at the bottom. And if you want to move one, just uh, right, uh, left click it and hold it and move. And that's pretty simple. Uh, UFO, it usually states in the description, it's, it works best at the bottom. Um, any mods that are not ticked just is ones that won't be loaded. So like uh, the cloaks one, you only need one of these. It tells you here uh, only had to have one ticked or otherwise the game will crash more, most likely. Um, so always read the description, that's uh, really important. Um, and that's about it, I think. Uh, this is a pretty basic uh, tutorial for modding Skyrim. Uh, there's a lot of other guys doing this, so I recommend you to check out their videos too, just to get another perspective of it. Uh, modding, modding games is something a lot of people are very unsure about, and I was too. I'm not modding that long, uh, a couple of months just. And I was a bit apprehensive at first for modding the game, as I didn't really know what it did. And I was a bit uh, worried that it might uh, crash the whole game and bug it, but... Uh, as you can see, I'm using a lot of mods now um, that really make the game look a lot better and play a lot better. Um, so yeah, if you found this useful, please like the video and give me a subscribe. Um, as always, follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with everything I'm doing. Uh, uh, my YouTube account is linked with Twitter, so anytime I upload a video, uh, it'll automatically be tweeted and stuff like that. Uh, it's probably the best way to get in contact with me or to send me a message. Uh, so, as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.